Good afternoon. We're here to talk about the WH7000EC, my new Westinghouse 7000 watt generator. It uh, will surge to 8500 when necessary. Um, you know how they say the guy who got dies with the most toys wins? Well, this is just uh, another piece of evidence that shows that I'm well on my way to uh, in the in the in the competition. So um, interestingly. The reason I'm making this video is because I did a natural gas conversion on this generator and uh, it's pretty cool. This is a, a gizmo you can get from US Carburation. Uh, they've got a, a website. It's a little confusing, convoluted, but it works. So uh, just real quick to give you a little rundown uh, on this. When you do the conversion, uh, and this will ha happen on pretty much all generators of this size. This is, by the way, it's called a Type C kit. Uh, you have to cut the frame. <clears throat> I wouldn't get too worked up about it. And, uh, I tried to find ways of getting around it, but uh, you end up just basically cutting the, uh, you know, the tube here and then down near the wheel. Uh, I actually put a, if you can see, you can probably see this here, I put this piece of steel stock in and replaced, but after I had cut the frame, it really, uh, I don't think it was all that necessary, but I did it anyway. So you can always make that modification too. But um, I can run on gasoline or natural gas with this, which is the cool thing. Um, they recommend running it when it's a brand new generator on that, on uh, gasoline to seat the, seat the rings and uh, for like two hours. After that, you're good to go. You also need to regap the spark plug to 0.020. That's a, another part of the conversion. I used a three-quarter inch gas line. You can see here I put the elbow on it so I can just take the hose into the garage where I hook up to the gas meter. Um, it's a three-quarter inch line because that's the requirement to run uh, as much as 30 feet. So on into the garage we go. Oh, there's the Corvette Z06. More evidence of uh, my competitive nature and uh, insofar as winning the race for the most toys. So here we have a quick disconnect uh, that I, I put on the end of the hose. You can see the gas line runs up to the meter and uh, there's the cutoff right there and it's just simply tapped into the low side, uh, low pressure side of the gas for the house. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire this bad boy up. Back at the generator, there's a prime button on the back of the regulator. You want to press that three or four times. And then hit the fire up the start button on the front. We don't turn the generator off at the uh, uh, with the on-off switch. We we'll simply come back and kill it here. Oh, there's Danica watching over the Corvette, and uh, that's pretty much it. The Westinghouse WH 7000 EC propane conversion. Catch you later.